Hello everyone, welcome to another drawing video and first I'd like to give a thanks to Cascade Moto Classics in Beaverton, Oregon uh, for loaning me bikes and for letting me basically use their showroom floor to film the show. Today we're going to be talking about the 2019 Street Scrambler and the differences that the 2019 has over the 2018. We're going to be looking at a 2019 Triumph Street Scrambler and a 2018 Triumph Street Scrambler. We'll talk about the differences. As with the uh, Street Twin, we're going to get a lot of the same upgrades that have come to the 19, uh, but we'll kind of get into that. Uh, firstly, in looking at the bikes, uh, you're going to notice some fit and finish changes, just a couple. They're very similar looking bikes. Uh, we do have a different, uh, a new available two-tone paint scheme on the 19 and the logo for Street Scrambler looks a little different. Uh, those are not major changes, but they, you know, I think that the uh, two-tone paint looks really good with a sort of brushed metal look to the Triumph logo there. Additionally, at looking at the bike, just like on the Street Twin, we do get the nice Bonneville logo at the top of the instrument cluster, which is not on the 18, it's not on the 18. But again, in looking at the bikes, you know, incredibly similar. Now let's get into the performance a little bit. On our 19, we do have some up, updated engine components that are allowing this bike to have a little more horsepower. So 65 horsepower, 55 horsepower. So we have an 18% boost, up 10 horsepower, 59 foot-pounds of torque, 59 foot-pounds of torque. So the same torque, it's the same bore and stroke, uh, all that kind of stuff. It's just that they've changed component level parts of the engine to make it rev faster and rev higher. So it does have 500 more RPM of rev. Um, they've achieved that through lightening of parts and things like that. Okay, so in both of these bikes, you're gonna get spoked rims. The inspiration there is that it's off-road worthy. They are both tubed tires. That's, you know, that's sort of what you want when you're doing off-roady stuff. It doesn't matter if you're zipping around town either. If you ask me, I'm a scrambler guy, I'd probably go with the scrambler over the street twin. Okay, with the seats, I'll talk about the, the rear portion of the seat in a moment, but the seats, uh, it has been somewhat updated. It's got a different uh, material on the, the new seat. Uh, it feels really durable. I you can feel it. Uh, it feels like something that you could uh, get on with a wet, muddy butt and not have to worry about it, which is good. And on this rear rack here, what's interesting about both of these bikes is uh, when you buy this bike, you actually get both the rear pillion seat and the rear rack. So. Uh, basically that part comes off, the seat goes on and a bolt goes in and the seat's on. So you, you can either have the rack or you can have the seat. So, you know, that's kind of cool. Let's talk about suspension. So the rear is the same on both bikes. On our 19, we actually have upgraded cartridge front forks. So that's a nice, nice change. Uh, we also have really big four pot Brembo brakes on the new bike. On our old bike, we have a two-pot Nissan caliper. I've ridden this bike. Check out the review here. Uh, it's an awesome bike. I didn't have a problem with the brakes at all, uh, but all I'm saying is that the brakes are even better on the 19. Uh, let's look at the cluster. Okay, so when we sit on our 18, which is just an awesome seating bike, must I, might I say. Let's turn it on. So on the, on the 18, we have our basic information here. We have our uh, speed up top and we have our tack, which is digital on the 18. Interestingly, the 18 Street Twin did not have a digital tack. This does, but we'll get to that. So you have an inf in info button here. You hit that to change. Trip, trip one, trip two, miles per gallon. Uh, you have average miles per gallon. You have what you're currently getting. You have clock. There's our tachometer and our trash control, which we can turn off on the 18. We have our ABS, which we can turn off in the 18. Pay attention. So let's go over to the 19. The reason I said pay attention is why, is what we're gonna get to next. So here we are on the 19. Now the shape is the same, but we do have our Bonneville logo. Now, notice the mode button here. That's a, that's a new update to, this, uh, to the 19 model, okay? So let's start by hitting, we're on odometer. We go trip one, trip two, miles per gallon, average miles per gallon, our range, clock, 
our tachometer, which is so, so far we're the same. Traction control on or off, and let's hit the button one more time. What? No ABS. Well, actually you can turn off the ABS, but it's in our mode. So when we hit the mode button, right, we were on rain, now we're on road. We hit one more time, now we're on off-road. Well, this is off-road ABS. So this is a, this allows the rear of the bike to spin free, does give you some ABS up front. So the off-road mode is going to be basically a, a mix of trash control and ABS that is optimal for off-road. Maybe not optimal for everyone. Some people prefer to turn everything off. Um, just depends what kind of rider you are, I guess. But it's important to know the differences between the two in this regard. Personally, I like having road and rain. Those really attract me. We are gonna fire this bad boy up and listen to the exhaust note. And that was the 18. All right, and now let's go ahead and start up the 2019. So, it sounds real similar, but I'll get here. All right, so let's talk cost of the two bikes. Um, as with the Street Twin, there's about a $200 difference between an 18 and a 19. So, um, you know, there is going to be some special deals that Triumph has offered. I believe there's a, something about a cash back offer to buy an 18. And, you know, it's still a great bike. Um, I really enjoyed riding uh, one of these myself. So, um, you know, so that's something to consider. The cost is going to come in about 10 8 for the 18 and about 11 for the 19. So, you know, you'll have to chew on that. And then there is another bit of news coming out with the Scrambler 1200. Now, we don't have any of those here yet, but uh, they are going to be coming in around 14 all the way to uh, the mid 15s for the uh, higher end, higher spec off road model. So, uh, as soon as we see those, I'll post a video on them. Uh, but if you don't feel like you need that much ground clearance and engine, then you know these are really great bikes that are accessible to a lot of people. Now, I sit, I'm, I have a 36 inch inseam, and these bikes are comfortable. My legs rest perfectly against the pads on the tank. So um, I don't think shorter riders would have an issue with it either. In fact, I think someone shorter than me would be even more comfortable. Uh, with the angle of the knee. All right guys, so with the Street Scrambler, should you go with the 2018 or 2019, you do get a little more power in the 19 model and you get some of the other things that are in the Street Twin, like the upgraded forks and brakes and things like that. It's up to you. Uh, getting special offers and deals from Triumph is also nice too, so I don't think $200 is gonna make or break anyone's budget. But you know it is 200 more dollars, so that's you can factor that in and the extra money from the from the 18 uh, factory giveaways or whatever. That said, the Scrambler 1200 is coming soon, so for you know five six thousand more, you could get that beastly bike. Anyways, this is Drang, and I'll be back with more soon. Have a good one.